one shot at uh, getting pregnant and getting to nine months. The phone call on Friday uh, from someone in the clinic I guess she's not an embryologist but it, like works with her and she was like hey just want to let you know I'm gonna freeze one embryo right now um, and I, there's four more that are waiting to see like what happens so the embryologist will call tomorrow which would be Saturday which is a phone call I was waiting for but it looks like one, maybe two will make it. So you can imagine I'm at work and I'm, I mean, I'm extremely sad. I don't even know what to do with myself, whatever. Saturday comes and I had no idea when I was gonna receive the phone call. Well, Matt and I were on our way to hang out with friends. So we were in the car when we received the phone call. And the embryologist said only one embryo um, was frozen. So the one from the day before was the only one that was frozen. Um, everything else was discarded. So our fertility tr uh, journey is, uh, I, almost, I almost say like, well, I've already said to Matt, like we're coming to an end to like our fertility journey or any fertility treatments because I'm not gonna do this again one it's it's I mean honestly it's just way too expensive and what if I end up again with one embryo or no embryo so it's almost not worth it if you're not like super wealthy so um, so yeah that was super that was extremely disappointing I mean to get 17 eggs retrieved nine fertilized and one embryo so we have one shot at uh getting pregnant and getting to nine months so there's a risk of it not sticking and of course there's always a risk of the first three months of miscarriage so i've had plenty and plenty of tears and i don't want to get to work with red eyes right now so I'm gonna try to keep it together, but I cried quite a bit on Saturday and yesterday morning. Uh, I was just cleaning while Matt was still sleeping and I had quite a few breakdowns while cleaning. So it's almost like the reality that we may never get pregnant. And it's not that we may never, it's just I'm not going through any more fertility treatments. It's just way too expensive and it's hard on the body. And so now what I did yesterday morning, we had already, we've been discussing it, but it's become more and more of a reality. So I know there's a adoption agency, um, probably like 10, 15 minutes away from my house. Um, so what I did was just go to their website and just request information. That's, that's all I want to do. Just give me information so I know what to do moving forward or what to expect moving forward. And then the other thing I did this morning was, uh, make an appointment with our doctor for a follow-up to see like what happened, what's the next step? Like, how do we make this successful? Because at the end of the day, like I still have one embryo and so I'm hoping I'm holding on to that one embryo to give us uh, a healthy pregnancy. So that is where I am at. So it has not been a good weekend, let me tell you that. So I will talk to you guys later, bye.